All right, so let's take a look at the message parser. Now, if you recall, when we initialized the bot, we gave it a config and we created a message parser class that we exported and an action provider class. Now, the message parser is a component that inside of the chatbot, we are taking the message parser that we are given and then we are initializing this class inside of the, the chatbot. Now, basically, we're just doing new message parser and then we're passing in uh, the action provider. And there is also a second argument, which is the chatbot state. So uh, the message parser can also take in the chatbot state and we'll take a look at that. Uh, in this video as well, but uh, this is all happening inside of the chatbot so that we can get access to things that are um, encapsulated uh, within that package if that makes sense. So let's uh, go ahead and add the state here and we'll do this.state equals state and that means that inside of this this uh, message parser, we have access to the action provider, which is basically the created instance of the action provider that we uh, supply. And then we have the state, which is the chatbot state that is passed to the message parser so that we can read it. Now, uh, let's head over to the browser for a second. So here we have the chatbot. And say I want to write something in here. Uh, you can see that we are getting a um, we are getting some UI on the screen, but nothing's happening. And the reason nothing is happening is because we haven't implemented the logic for what's supposed to happen. You have to do that yourself. So the thing is, whenever we write something into the chatbot, it's picked up and sent to the message parser and the message parser kind of gets that message and is the component or class that decides what we are going to do with that message. So let's take a look at how it works. Go back to the uh, editor here. You can see that this parse method, it takes in the message and it console logs uh, it out. So if we Go back to the browser and just open our console. We can take a look at what it looks like. So you can already see here uh, on the left hand side that we are logging out the messages as they come in. So if we write something um, in here, then it will show up in the console. Now that means that we can take this message and break it apart and try to kind of make some decisions uh, based on what the message contains uh, in order to decide on a response. So that's kind of what the message parser does. So inside of here, we want to do something like, um, I'm gonna keep it simple for now, but you can make this as complex as you'd like. But uh, let's say that we create a lowercase version of the message And if the lowercase message includes hello world, then we are going to console log hi back. All right. So now we're taking the message, we are checking if it includes something that we are looking for. And if it does, then we are console logging high in return. So let's head back to the browser. we we'll go and say hi. Nothing is happening in the console here. And if we say hello world, then you can see we are getting high back. So now we are implementing some sort of logic and we are um, reacting to that. And that's in essence 
what the message parser does. Now the picture isn't complete before we add the action provider because the action provider will implement the methods that we are going to be putting uh, in here. So we eventually want the bot to be able to do something and send a message in return. And that's going to happen in the action provider. But the message parser is the part that takes the message and makes the logic based on what's inside that message, um, takes that and decides what we are going to do. Okay, so that's a quick view on the message parser. Next up, we are going to be looking at the action provider. So see you there.